Hello, this is Dave from Dimensional Consulting. Today's video will discuss datum targets and datum feature symbols. In this drawing, datum feature symbols A and B indicate that datum A is established by datum feature A and datum B is established by datum feature B. Datum target C1 indicates that datum C is established by a single point. People often try to use a datum feature symbol to indicate where a datum plane is. However, the symbol is a datum feature symbol, not a datum plane symbol. The datum feature C symbol in the front view explicitly says that datum C is established by the entire surface. This is a conflict with the side view that tells us that datum C is established by just one point, not by the entire surface. We must not put conflicting information on the drawing. The datum C symbol here in the front view with the arrow indicates that this is where datum plane C is. The side view says that datum plane C is established by a single point, and the front view tells us where the datum plane is in the front view. In spite of the datum feature symbol C conflicting with datum target C1, people obsessively put the conflicting information on drawings. Therefore, starting in the 2018 standard, the committee established the practice of indicating the datum target with a combination of the datum feature symbol and the adjoining node. Now the front view tells us that datum plane C is where the datum feature symbol is, but it also tells us that datum C is established by datum target C1. That's today's video. If you want to see more tips like this, please subscribe and visit my website at dimensionalconsulting.com.